Hi everyone, I'm Angela from Angela's Cooking Up Trouble on Facebook pages and today I'm making wontons cream cheese or cheese cream cheese wontons um, with a little bit of a my own little magic to them but basically I'm going to explain how to do it and show you. I've got It'll make about 25 to 20, depending on, you know, it's going to depend on how much you fill in them too, but you can't put so much in them. But I'm using two 8-ounce uh, blocks of softened cream cheese. I don't like to use that. You can do this by hand, but it's a little bit faster this way for me. I have to clean up my trash. And in it, I'm going to put about, well basically I don't have to measure this one, one tablespoon of spring onions. Um, it's about a heaping tablespoon. And I'm going to add that to it. So I don't have to wash my hands. I'm going to add that to it. And I'm going to add about one tablespoon of ginger. Kind of loose. You don't want too much in it. So a loose tablespoon of ginger. one tablespoon of carrots about a tablespoon of sprouts and of course to get this up you, you need to cut this up really small um, I have this little mini mixer and I use about a tablespoon of onions. You can dice it up real small, but this is just easier to me and I like it really, really small. But go ahead and put that down. You'll put one tablespoon of pure sesame seed oil. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. And we've got all our ingredients in there. So I'm going to lock this down, turn this in slow, and get it to a good mix. And as you're mixing, if you're mixing a bowl like this, you need to stop and scrape down the edges really good. And make sure you've gotten, you know, stuff that's gotten stuck to the edges end of the mixture. And I don't turn it up too high, just a little bit higher, but not too high because you don't want this stuff splattering everywhere. Let me scrape this down. Make sure I get all that stuff. I'll heat my oil, which I deep fry these, and I heat it to about 350, and it only takes like a couple of minutes for these to cook. Now, when I pack them, um, a lot of people don't use anything. Some might use egg wash or anything like that. I use just uh, cornstarch, basically, and I use like uh, two tablespoons water to one tablespoon cornstarch but I'll do that and I'll do that around the edges but we'll get more onto that in just a little bit mix this just a little bit more okay we basically have our filling now it's mixed pretty good and I'll just scrape down the bowl 
But as our grease is heating, and I'll get back to you in just a second. Now I'll have all this cleaned up and I'll show you how to roll them up and, and we'll put them in the frying pan and show you how they come out. Okay, my grease is hot and I've actually done a few and um, I'm going to show you how to, how much to put in them and uh, basically these are store bought. You can make your own if you go to Angela's Cooking Up Trouble or uh, anyway, any night. but I got these at the store. You can get these at the store in your uh, produce aisle. Um, and they're already made up. If you want to make your own on Angela's Cooking Up Trouble Facebook pages, I do have the recipe for wontons there um, if you want to make your own. So I've got my cornstarch, which I, I, I keep stirring. And, I, and you use a spoon. You don't use a brush. You, I guess you could use a tiny brush, but they tell you to use a spoon. It's just a lot easier and easier to clean. But basically, you spread out your wontons. I always put a little flour on my uh, board just to, you know, kind of keep it easier, you know, from sticking. But you don't, you want to fill them, but you don't want to fill them up so that you can't seal them. I can add a little bit more to that one. But I'm going to go ahead and fill them. See, I got a little bit more in there. And I use a tiny spoon, so it might be like about a half a tablespoon you could put in them, where, you know, it would work. Now, you could put seafood in this. Uh, if you cut my recipe in half, um, as far as the tablespoons of the vegetables that I use, um, you could probably, you know, just utilize that space for, uh, and get the same amount with, uh, with seafood which a lot of people use crab meat, some people use shrimp. Um, I'm not a big seafood fan, so I basically, you know, I, my son likes it, and I have made shrimp, but I tend to overcook my shrimp. Sorry, I gotta wash my hands really quick. I lost my fish rack. There it is, right there behind me. Okay. But basically, you do four at a time when you're frying. So I'll just, I can throw this flat fifth one in, it's no biggie. I'll stir my cornstarch, but I just put just a, just a little tiny bit of cornstarch in there. And I, I just run it around the corners of the egg roll. I'm not, sorry, not the egg roll. I did egg rolls last night. Um, but around the corners of the wonton. I'll take it, as you can see, and I grab the two corners, pull them up, and I pinch them shut on the top. And you can always dump out if you've got too much cornstarch in there, so it won't hurt anything. As I pinched it up at the top, I take the other end, and I take it, and I pinch it around that top point. Makes them prettier. Pinch them shut. And they will stay. And there you've got a pretty little wonton. And you'll do that for each one of them. You don't need much cornstarch, just, just a hair to kind of moisten it. Uh, some people use egg wash, but this actually has been the best thing that I've done or tried. So you take it, you fold it to the center, you pinch it shut. You pull up that other corner, you take it there, and you pinch it around the point. Pinch this one around the point, and I always kind of close them up like that to make them look even neater. That's my second one. It doesn't take long to do it all. Um, 
when I first did it, it took me a little bit longer because I was trying to make sure I knew what I was doing. I had no idea it was so easy. So let me get where you can see this. I take it and fold it and pinch it to the top. You never want to overfill them, so you can close them up. And then you pull up this side up to that top point and pinch it around that top point. Pinch this one around the top point and then close it up here. Kind of pinch it shut. That one's ready to go. You keep your oil, I don't need that much. You keep your oil basically at 350 and it only takes like two, two or three minutes to do these, to cook these. Because you want them a light brown. I'll probably put too much on first, but it doesn't hurt anything. And I'll show you again. You pinch it to the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. Take the other corner, take it up, and pinch it to the top around that other corner. And do the same thing with this corner. Then you kind of mash those little corners there. Don't have to be perfect, just match them. And then we'll do the last one. The more you do it, the faster you get. Pinch it to the top. Take up the corner. Pinch it around. Take this corner up. Pinch it around. Fold it. Fold it there. Make sure it's kind of sealed. Then you've got all three ready. And I'm going to go throw these in the fryer. I will grab the camera and I will go take you over there since I have to work by myself. We'll put these in the fryer and I'll show you exactly what they look like. While these last few are cooking. But please check out our page. It's called Angela's Cooking Up Trouble on Facebook. I do all kinds of recipes. This will be going with some general sized chicken that I made which uh, the recipe will be on there too also i made egg rolls that'll be on there too the recipes in the videos are all there and there's other videos not just my own that i've shared that i thought were really neat but basically i just use a fry daddy i let them fry for you know two or three minutes not even that long They're, and you can put three, I mean, four or five in there. I could probably put more in there because it's a bigger fryer. But this is how they turn out. They turn out so pretty. That one's an even prettier one. But they're done, ready, crisp, and ready to eat. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. And I do hope you'll check out Angela's Cooking Up Trouble on Facebook pages and check out some of my, my recipes and give me a like. I could sure use a like. I'm struggling with that for a bit, but the recipes have turned out great and I've done really good. So I really appreciate you, you uh, sticking with me and watching my video. And I hope you make these and you give it a try. It turned out wonderful. They taste great, and uh, it's pretty simple, so it's, there's not much to it. So, like I said, Angela's Cooking Up Trouble on Facebook pages. Y'all have a great night, and enjoy whatever you're going to be making tonight. But do check out that page. Talk to y'all later. Hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Bye.